I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here is the cattle market summary for the weekend of December the 4th where uh, cattle prices were sharply lower this week, especially middle of the week. Uh, we're not seeing that support uh, this week like we normally do with the box beef cutout values after Thanksgiving and before Christmas as we see a lot of people uh, usually coming in and, and buying some, some beef and uh, getting ready with prime rib rolls and, and eating in the restaurants and things like that. But uh, we're just not seeing that at all. And, and uh, you know, we've got terrorism happening, seems like every day, and just a lot of things really putting a lot of pressure on things. Live cattle futures for December ended the week at 124.27, which was down 7.55 for the week. Uh, you know, we're ended at December ended at wet up at 24, 124.27. Both February and April, though, are up at 21.5, 129.5. We think that we should see some kind of a spark here, but uh, it seems like we're not getting it like we ought to. Uh, feeder cattle into the week, January contract at 159.45. Gosh, that sure seems really cheap for a 750 pound steer that's down 657 for the week uh cattle market central's real-time index is 162.86 we're still getting some uh, better prices than that uh, on some of your bigger sale barns especially in the northern plains uh, at the middle of the week on some seven weight steers and even up in the eight weights they were still bringing up in the 170s so we have a pretty big wide uh, spread there between uh, what our fancy cattle are bringing in the northern plains, especially for your uh, farmer feeders as they're still wanting some cattle. They're all cleaned up with uh, their harvest and they're wanting a, a, a winter project. And so on some better cattle, we're still seeing a lot of uh, demand for those kind of cattle coming in. Uh, fats this week were down hard. Uh, they, they sold some middle and late week on Friday. They had some sales, 123 and a half to 124 live, 192 dressed, which was down even harder than what was mostly happening uh, at, the, at the bulk of the sales. But we had a, a huge movement of uh, negotiated sales this week. Uh, even uh, at the middle of the week, which we didn't have everything for late Friday, it was over 91,000 head. So we're probably going to have over 100,000 head of negotiated sales for the week. Uh, your live sales were 123 and change, and dress sales were 194 and change. So uh, that 192 on, on Friday was quite a bit lower than what the bulk of the sales were. But, uh, you know, we've had disappointing box beef. Uh, all through this uh, post uh, Thanksgiving, which normally we should see that. Uh, but, we, you know, everybody thinks that we ought to see some kind of a, a spark here. A, a lot of these guys that are buying uh, feeder cattle to, to put in the feedlots are expecting cattle to get a little bit higher. Uh, we're not seeing hardly any of the direct trade anymore. Most all those big calves and those big strings of cattle that sold so heavy heavily in in october november as we get into to december there's hardly any direct cattle coming at all uh we are getting some big strings of cattle in the sale barns uh, especially in the midwest and the northern plains as uh you know last week uh your your farmers and your and your uh, diversified guys that had cattle and and uh crops they they shut down their harvest and went ahead and had some and sold their cattle. This year uh, they were disappointed in what the cattle was going to bring, so they just went ahead and cleaned up all of their uh, harvest. And then now they they waited till it got wet because it was too sloppy to get their cattle out. So we're expecting a, a lot of cattle in the sale barns in the Midwest and the Northern Plains this week and next week, because then after that we're going to be shut down for the holidays and we won't have another big run till uh, way after the, the new year. So we should have big runs this week. Uh, you know, Joplin's expecting 10,000 head of cattle or more. Oklahoma City probably have a huge sale again here on this Monday. So there'll be a lot of cattle in the sale barns, but not a lot of cattle in the direct trade. So maybe we'll have some, uh, some demand and some trading activity in the sale barns this week. 
but uh, the weather's improved a lot. Uh, we've we've uh, got rid of all that wetness that we had and the, the sloppy lots and everything that were happening there right after or, or during Thanksgiving and right after that we've had some improvement there and we've had a little bit of warmer weather so you know even though the board's down so hard and and the fat cattle market's down the box beef's down but people still want to buy uh, feeder cattle uh, this week this past week calves were five to fifteen dollars lower with the full decline later in the week yearlings there's not any hardly yearlings at all of uh, true yearling cattle but there's they sold a week to five dollars lower and we like I talked earlier, we had some, some pretty good sales of, of true yearling cattle where they showed up. But you uh, look at Cattle Market Central on some, some uh, load lots or big strings of cattle. At Farmers and Ranchers in Salina, Kansas, they had 127, 120 steers, yearling steers, weighing 844 pounds at 161.75 on a Thursday. On Friday at, at Lexington, Nebraska, that load of 514 pound fancy steer calves bring 217. But uh, that's your uh, cattle market summer for this week from my home office here in Maysville, Missouri. We'll talk to you later on this week.